confirm industrial matters, the FCT police command has granted Senator Elijah Abel bail. The lawmaker representing Adamawa North in the Senate had been in custody of the police since Thursday night when he submitted himself to detectives for interrogation over allegations levelled against him for assaulting a woman at an adult toy shop in Abuja. Sifan Hassan has details. Senator Elisha Abo may have found reprieve. The lawmaker representing Adamawa North in the Senate was granted bail on Friday around 1 o'clock after spending almost 24 hours in custody of the police in a case of alleged assault on an adult toy shop attendant in Abuja. A CCTV footage of the incident went viral recently prompting an outcry of condemnation. In a telephone conversation, the FCT Commissioner of Police said the embattled senator would only be charged when the investigation is concluded. Following his bail, the lawmaker is to report at the police command regularly as part of the investigation. Commenting on the issue, the Director General of the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Person says the agency is keeping close tabs on the case. Any man raises his hands against him, any woman, I take it very... In fact, I was very offended when I saw the video and I said that she could not protect herself, she couldn't defend herself. You stand there and somebody is punching you in your eyes and you didn't fight with everything you had. She was just there and allowed... What if he had acid? She would have just been there and walk. No, now. In fact, I think we should have a program for women. Defense of, yes. We should have a program for women. Defending women and have a Taekwondo expert. The agency is responsible for implementing the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act 2015. And the Director General stresses that it will embark on a name and shame exercise against convicted rapists. We're talking about stigmatization, we should be talking about the victim, not the rapist. Rapists should be shamed, named and shamed, and stigmatized and doubly stigmatized. <laughs> the agency is going in to get all the states in the country to domesticate the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act as a step in curbing sexual violence and assault. Sifon Esien, TVC News, Abuja.